Aloha, it's Robert Selick with Blue Planet Surf. Today I'm going to talk about the pivot turn or step back turn. It's a really good maneuver to practice to improve your skills, especially if you're interested in going in the surf or doing downwinders. I'm going to break it down step by step, how to learn it, even if you've never tried it. It's a great maneuver to practice in flat water. Basically involves moving your weight from parallel stance into the surf stance on the center line of the board, moving your weight back towards the tail of the board, and then using wide sweeping strokes out to the side to turn the board around. And I'm gonna show you some more advanced versions later on too, but we'll start with very basic stuff. When you first get started, you can try it doing, doing it sitting down on the board, sliding back, and then putting your weight over the tail, spinning your feet in, in circles. And that's basically how surfers turn around or longboarders. Um, sit on the tail and that allows the board to swivel much more easily. You can also do that with your paddle and then the next step is to do it on your knees. A good way to practice your pivot turn is to start on your knees. So if, if you have a hard time balancing standing up, you can just shift your weight back towards the tail a little bit where you can kind of sink the tail, lean back to sink, lean forward to kind of stay level. Hold the handle at the top, get the paddle way out to the side and then just do your steering strokes. You'll see how, how much easier it is to turn the board when, you're, when you got your weight on the tail. Okay, so the first step um, to learning the pivot turn is to get your footwork right. So placing your feet in, on the center line of the board is really important because if you move your feet, unweigh your foot to move around on the board, the board rocks back and forth. So what you wanna do ideally is either move both feet at once and kind of jump to that surf stance, keep your paddle in the water to do that. Or the other way to do it is to rotate your foot towards the center line and then put your other foot behind it. Now I have both feet on the center line of the board and now it's much easier for me to move my feet back and forth because I'm moving on the center line of the board where I don't rock the board left to right. It helps to keep your paddle in the water and paddle while you're doing it. And then, so once you figure out how to shift your weight and keep your weight over the center line of the board, then you can put more weight on the tail of the board, sink the tail a little bit, get the nose up, and then you get your paddle out to the side by the nose, put it in the water and do like a nice sweeping turn. So you do like a, a nice curved stroke so find a good position where you can control it, you can lean forward, you can lean backwards, and then you can use a sweeping stroke to, to turn the board. Turning the other way where you kind of cross over is a little bit harder, but it's a good one to practice as well. And if you're far enough back, you can bring the paddle all the way behind your tail like this. And for balance, you can also on your way back skim the paddle over the surface. This is gonna make it, give you even more stability, so on the way back, you skim the paddle. At the end of your turn, you want to bring your feet back forward and then start paddling in the new direction you want to go in. Okay, so once you mastered the basics and you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can try a more advanced technique, which is standing on the nose of the board and spinning around the nose without the fins in the water. This will make the board rotate more easily. It allows you to practice your balance and so on. So to do that, you first want to face the tail of the board and then you can step back with your back foot towards the nose. If you don't have a full deck pad, you might want to put some wax on the nose so you don't slip off and then lift the fins out of the water and then that allow you to spin more easily. You can try to see how many spins you can do before you lose your balance and fall in. It's a nice challenge to, to practice. If you have a bigger board like a race board or an inflatable board, you have to move your weight further back to lift it up. Obviously in, on a shorter, uh, shorter lower volume board, you sometimes don't have to move back very much at all to, to pivot. It might just be a slight weight adjustment. So depending on the length of the board and the volume, um, where you have to stand on the board is different. So just a quick recap, move your feet from parallel stance to the center line, move your weight back to where you find a nice balance point uh, between sinking the tail and being able to control the tilt. Then you do a wide sweeping stroke out to the side, turn the board, and then at the end, jump back towards the parallel stance in the center of the board. On a really long board, you might have to shuffle your feet back quite a bit, like on a race board, 
If you have to do that, you can also practice cross-stepping. Um, that's also a great skill for surfing. If you can cross-step on the center line of the board, that looks really elegant. That's something else you can practice. So, and you know, practice makes perfect. Don't, don't expect to be able to do it right away. This might take some, some time to, to learn, but it's something you can learn in any kind of conditions on flat water and so on. So if you want to get ready for a trip to, to go surfing or get ready for a race or get ready for downwinding, the pivot turn or step back turn is a great skill to, to practice. So thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe down below and we'll see you on the water. Aloha.